Thank you, Dr. Sakya. The next question, question number four. Some people invest in real estate because they don't want to invest in banks. But they claim that the zakat on such wealth has to be paid only on its rent and not on its original value. What is your observation on this issue? As far as the view of the majority of the scholars is concerned, what they say, that if the land has been purchased for selling, so that to make a profit, then all the scholars unanimously agree that zakat should be paid on it. As we discussed in the last answer, that the moment one year is completed, the land that you purchase, zakat has to be paid on it. But if you have land and if you give it on rent, means if you buy a house and give it on rent, the majority of the scholars say that zakat is not applicable on the value of the house. Zakat is only applicable on the rent you receive. The moment you receive the rent, and if it stays with you for a period of one year, and if it's above the nisab level, then you have to pay zakat on the rent, not on the value of the house, the flat, or the land. But nowadays, most of the people that purchase land for investment, they give it on rent. So here we are in a dilemma that people who purchase land, mainly the purpose of investment, but if they think that they'll buy the land, they sell after four or five years when the price rises. So, but naturally, they don't want to keep it vacant. So they give it on rent to a person who requires to stay in that flat. Now what will happen? Should we pay zakat or not? So here, there's a difference of opinion. And here scholars differ. Some scholars say that fine, pay only zakat on the rent if you possess it for more than one year, if it's above nisab level. And when you sell it, on that year only you pay the two and a half percent of the total value of the land. But there are some scholars who are very strict and who disagree with this view. And they say that if you buy a land, even if you give it on rent, the cost of the land, the market value of that land or of that flat should be paid every Hijri year. Scholars like Ibn Aqil, they say this. Ibn al Arabi, Ibn Aqil, who's a humbly, Ibn al Arabi, who is a Malaki, Sheikh Abu Zora, who's a Hanafi, Abdul Rahman al Hassan, Sheikh Abdul Waf Khalaf, who is presently a very great scholar, Sheikh Yusuf al Kardawi, and scholars of the same group, they say that if a person buys and has many flats on rent, then he should even pay zakat on the cost of that flat, of that land. But for example, if a person is a poor person and doesn't have any income, doesn't have any business, and he has only one house which he's living, and a second house which he gives on rent, so unanimously people agree that the rent he acquires, if it's saving if more than the sub level. But there are many rich people who are landlords and who possess many houses, many flats which they give on rent, they own large properties. And if we agree with the view of the majority of the scholars that the car should be only paid on the rent, suppose a person has 100 flats costing hundreds of thousands of dollars, and the rent that he gets he utilizes what is required for his personal expenses. And before one year is over after he gets the rent, he buys another few flats. So, and if he doesn't have any gold jewelry, that means he will not pay zakat at all. After the 100 flats become 110, 120, 140, maybe he is one of the richest men in the city of Bombay or any city. He may own half the property of the city, half the land in the city, so if you agree that zakat should not be paid, he may be a multi-billionaire, may own half the city, may own three-fourths of the city. He takes rent. When he gets the rent, before it becomes one year, he utilizes what he wants. Then he buys new land. And if zakat is not there on land, which is given on rent, he will keep on getting richer and richer and richer without paying a single dollar as zakat. So therefore, I agree more with the minority group of scholars, like Ibn al-Arabi, Ibn Aqil, Sheikh Abu Zohra, 
Sheikh Yusuf al Qardawi, and the likes of these scholars who say that if a person possesses a large amount of land and many houses giving on rent, then zakat should be even paid on the cost price of the land of the flat. Whatever is the present value of that land or of that house, he has to pay 2.5% zakat every hijri year. I agree more with these type of scholars. And anyway, even if it's not required and a person pays extra, Allah will question you. Surely you will get sawab for that. Even if you give a sadqa, you will get sawab. So I always agree when in doubt, leave it out and go on the side which will give more sawab. Because minimum is 2.5% zakat. If you pay more, Allah will yet be happy.